Zechariah chapter 4. Lord, we ask that you would sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 1. Then the angel who talked with me returned and wakened me as a man is wakened from his sleep. And it says in verse 2, he asked me, what do you see? I answered, I see a solid gold lampstand with a bowl at the top and seven lights on it with seven channels to the lights. So Zechariah sees seven lamps. Each one had a pipe which led to a basin which probably contained oil which then fed the lamps which burned. Verse 3. Also, there are two olive trees by it, on the right of the bowl and the other on its left. Olive trees produce the olives which contain the oil that was burned in the lamps of those days. Verse 2, I asked the angel who talked with me, what are these, my lord? Well, you know, he knew what those things were and he knew what they were for. He just wants to know why he is seeing them in a vision at this particular time. Verse 5, he answered, Do you not know what these are? No, my lord, I replied. The angel will tell Zechariah, but not until verse 14. Look at verse 6. So he said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. The Jews want to rebuild the temple, and that's good. But God is saying human strength or political power isn't going to do it. God says, my will is done in my people by the grace and the strength that I give to them. Verse 7. What are you, O mighty mountain, before Zerubbabel, you will become level ground. Then he will bring out the capstone to shouts of God bless it, God bless it. Zerubbabel was the civil leader of the Jews who had, the Jews that, which had returned to the land after their exile. He was their civil leader. And he looked at the temple project and he thought there are way too many obstacles. God says, no, I make obstacles go away on behalf of my people. Verse 8, Then the word of the Lord came to me. The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this temple. His hands will also complete it. Then you will know that the Lord Almighty has sent me to you. The job will get done, and when it does, they will know that the Lord is with them, accomplishing his work. Verse 10, who despises the day of small things? Men will rejoice when they see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel. These seven are the eyes of the Lord, which range throughout the earth. The day of small things refers to the day that they begin to build. It didn't look like much. The work was slow, and they were discouraged. The day of small things can refer to many things with regards to God's people. The day of small things means, you know, it could mean I'm trying to accomplish something, but not much seems to be happening. Well, God says do not despise the day of small things. And God is saying don't get worried and don't get discouraged. Just keep doing what you know is right and trust me to build on what you are doing. Verse 11. Then I asked the angel, what are these two olive trees on the right and the left of the lampstand? And this goes back to verse 5, verse 12. Again I asked him, What are these two olive branches besides the gold pipes, the two gold pipes that pour out golden oil? And both the oil and the pipes that fed it in this vision, they were both made out of pure gold. He replied, Do you not know what these are? No, my lord. I said, 
Then in verse 14, So he said, These are the two who are anointed to serve the Lord of all the earth. These are the two that are anointed to serve the Lord of all the, all the earth. And so the two olive trees in this vision, next to the lamps that burned the light, those two olive trees represent two men. And they would be the spiritual leader and the high priest Joshua and the political leader, Zerubbabel. The political leader, the spiritual leader of God's people. Political and spiritual leaders are both servants of God sent to benefit his people. And both are accountable for, to God for uh, how well they do their work of representing him. Both are to be lights. Both are to give direction. And both will answer to God for the kind of leadership they provide for God's people. And we have seen in earlier studies in the Old Testament that the Israelites got into a lot of trouble because neither their political leaders nor their spiritual leaders were walking with the Lord. They were not leading correctly. And people need to be led and they need men who will, will lead under the authority of God. Well, we'll pick it up in chapter 5 next time. Until then, Mike Moret for Scripture verse by verse. So long, everyone.